Hello guys and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones where we are playing as Magister Valerian, now called the Poet of the Dragon's March. Lord of... well, he is basically our Sea Drake. He's the only one we've had who's done all of this, all of this conquest under him. Now with his sons and grandsons ruling beneath him. The question, and perhaps the problem, is going to be, can we actually secure our freedom? Because these numbers are actually based off allies. Because right now, Lys would stand with us, but Tarosh would actually stand against us, while Mir would stand with us. This is a quite split war, and the big problem is he still has an incredibly large army. Which I'm not fully sure how he has. I imagine most of it must be from having me as a vessel. But it's still too large. So I think we still need to weaken him a little bit more. Primarily I think we need to take the prince's quarter. And sit on our money for a little bit. That's what I think we need to do. Because if we are sitting on our money for a while. Just earning a decent bit we can sort of cement ourselves. And once we cement our kingdom, we can focus more on our eternal matters. Of course, there, there is little to be concerned about with just how many of my sons I've sort of put in positions of power and wealth. There, there's no doubt that, you know, if for now each of them may be loyal, but as soon as I pass, I wouldn't really know what they do. I can't guarantee loyalty beyond myself. It's been quite some time before I originally vowed to outdo the inferior work of Fila. And the ink is my scribe, the roses that I dry, I admire my work. The question is who should play the lead role? I'm sure, I'll try it myself. Take deep breath and perform my play. Sure, there'll be impeccable with me here to deliver it to pious message. I'll take a deep breath and recite my lines flawlessly. The audience captive to my words. I analyze them with the masterful interpretation of the tales from the ancient books of Ashai. As the crowd erupts into applause, I am assured I added myself and showed feel how I, a real follower of the light, write to play. I mean, hey, I am a, a poet. Guess I'm also a performer, though. Granddaughter is leaving my castle. It's grown well under my guardianship, one would hope. And then married into... You are the royal family of these, right? Still, yes. Okay, well then we will do that marriage to keep them as an ally. Who wants this truce? He does. Ten years, no. Hmm. Send him through the streets as a fool. I find that very enjoyable. Let's just take this city and then that should be the wall. Prince Trigo is having a tournament. Why is he having it up there? Look at this. Ransom off the more expensive prisoners. And then... The lessers. Oh. We have 60 siege weapons as it stands. I don't know if we're going to need more Pentos. I don't know how many siege weapons we need. Because it's level 6, I think. It's level 5. So it's... Still undoubtedly very powerful. And obviously it's a primary city holding. Rather than a castle holding. So it, holding it also be a problem. 
Is it have no castle holdings in it at all? I. How does that work? Surely that can't work. Well, I'll have to find a way to fix that then, because that is means I would not be able to hold it at all. The armies rest. And I will grant this to a uh Western Boston Valyrian, hopefully. I mean most of these may well I just end up in dukedoms underneath main people. The Palace of Prosperity. This is our first castle actually within Pentos. And I would ideally like to keep keep it, but I don't know what I'd have to give up in order to keep it, because, I mean, all of these are going to be surely more wealthy. 2.4, 6, it's a culture converting going here, because the culture conversion is going to be the only thing that's going to be able to get us to level up that city, which is obviously going to be a problem of its own. Actually, a level one castle holding. But it has the prince's palace, which is gives specific money itself. Hmm. And then another castle holding here. We do want to hold it. We definitely want to hold it. I think we give up cliffs high, maybe for now. Or maybe windpipe. Uh, I mean, I don't fully want to give up either. I think that's pretty clear. No, I think the windpipe is the worst province, and we'll give this away because we can we can just immediately reclaim this later if we wish because it is a barony. Uh, but we are going to need to get the control up in the uh, prince's quarter. We've got a bit of income. We'll definitely need to upgrade our armies again. Soon. I mean, the Dragon Guard is going to be our best route, but I think we're going to need some Dragon Knights as well. I know they're expensive, but they are undoubtedly one of, if not the best. So yeah, that's going to be 28. Yeah, be, they'll be better off in Cliffs High. And Hunter Exclusion again, another, there's constant sickness. Actually, I, I don't know why, it clearly can have a special building, but I don't know why it won't let me have one. See, so where is this? Oh, it's, it's in my lands, but not at me yet. Get a hold of Bonnie. Then we can move to development growth. Get one more of these. Size three is the only thing I'll uh, go for these. Maximize. It's, it's so expensive to keep up, but it's, that is the problem. Thank you. Take that gold. Let's see. Trade port would be best. And then we'll upgrade the levy buildings a bit. Not half of my wife or or any of my friends today. I trudge along to my chambers, loneliness and impeding my lazy feet. I hear a clang and hushed whispers from behind the hallway. Ah, it's just Surprise party for his 70th birthday. My word. I'll take the medium gift. A jade lion. Trinket. Ooh. Take that. What a wonderful gift. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we do want him there. Get rid of you and replace you with him. There we go. She's not good at martial arts. I think maybe she can help martial, but she cannot. A book artifact. Do some focused reading. Okay, we can get... I mean, these ones don't really help me because I'm not ever going to be the culture head. Especially with him around. Eris II, the quote-unquote, the enchanting. I disagree with that name. Rhaegar died at seven of the pox. So Hagen is the, the heir. That's fun. Another marriage? The son of Tarosh. How can I end his alliance with Tarosh? Killing him would seem the best way, honestly. Get him dead. Lights. Get an embezzlement. Payments. Because I don't really care too much about the hooks. I could renegotiate the contracts, but I don't think renegotiating contracts does anything in till I make a new kingdom. Those. I'm ranked two, but I almost again I don't fully want to win the election. Yeah, it's a huge auction block. So if we become an independent kingdom, that'll be very wealthy. Because obviously the the thing that's holding that back financially is that the quote unquote king or quote unquote you know leader of us, this magister or prince as they would call him, is uh buggering us over by making it illegal. See if she's a good swordsman. Why not? Don't want me to enter seclusion. Is it is it really that close to me? You petition my liege to ask him to give me this town. Oh, because he's allied to him, so I actually so I say, or oh, I could just take it, but I actually couldn't just take it. Um it's not an independence faction. It's probably going to win the election. Um, would petition him still. He probably refused though. At least you'd imagine he'd refuse. I can't, I can't get any of these, never mind. Invite some new captains. Try and get a strong force. Why is he at war? Is this a, a conquest? If it's a conquest, I'm actually fine with that because I'd rather he have this land. Yeah, it's a conquest. Go ahead and conquer it. I'd rather you than he.
I mean, this is my best fighter by far. He is about to get a conquer, though. Maybe I should have considered that. Whoops. If you get conquered, come fight with me. He's still in my court? No, he's gone. Well, bugger. That's not good. My best fight is gone. Why is he fighting Dawn? You fool. I'll join, but apparently the war's already won, so... You fool! You did not realise you were already born. My goodness. The sixth Blackfire Rebellion. This means against Egon of the Blackfire Host. An 18-year-old. Hey, if he wins, this will be very interesting. It'll be very interesting to see a successful Blackfire. Like, in terms of numbers, could he be successful? I mean, if he's got better commanders here, it's only a 60,000 difference, which genuinely, depending on where the battles happen, isn't that much. Um, middle path is still probably the best path to go for. It sucks. These guys think when I'm asking to invite a commander that I want just mediocre commanders. Oh my goodness. Picky, picky, picky. I'm always needing me for something else. So many. Are Dawn with the Iron Throne? No, Dawn's against the Iron Throne. Jamie the Bear Slayer. Did he kill Robert? No, Robert's not the bear. Who who would the bear be? Or maybe he killed the actual bear that killed Stywin by the looks of it, Jesus. Yeah, fund my city holding. If you don't do it, I'm gonna kill you even faster. Fine. There we go, he's gonna build a city for me. Forest forts built. Gonna build anything in Dragon's Peak. Yeah, let's get the cattle up then. Lifts high. Forestry would be good. I think stables would be best. Get stables. I'm not going to fight to free slaves. I want them. It's him who's stopping me. But he's lost. To Rosh as an ally, do I also? It's because he died. Oh my god! Keeping allies in the free cities is going to be impossible. I'm going to have to basically conquer the free cities to get allies in them by converting them into kingdoms. Ah, uh, what a mess! So he still outnumbers me. But I would have Mir. Mir would be the more important one with me, honestly. I think we go for it. I don't know. 
Let's build up a bit of a war chest. In fact, no, let's steal this money first. Don't have a maester, so I have to search for one. No maester? Not helpful. Right, 500 gold. We can sit on that. Go for an independence war. Pull in my allies. Get our army raised. I don't think Lisa's is going to do anything, but I am going to wait for, me, uh, for Mia's forces here to join up with mine own. Who's my best commander? This random dude is. My wife passed away. Lady Rhaenyra has passed away at the age of 72. How am I doing for help? Still fine. Do you outnumber him? I think we caught him. Oh, we've caught half his army. Even better. In fact, Lisa's actually come to help us right away, which is perfect. Actually makes this far in our favour. Very far in our favour. Look at that. Lisa's arrival makes this go from a, a question to a definite, uh, a definite victory. Need a new wife. Um... I don't really need someone young I could go with her because of Ulvate's problem. No, it makes us just good with relevance. Let's say her just because she's young. Age of Pentos. They're going to just seize Olimos and stuff, which isn't going to help them at all. Only way they're going to get anything on me is by taking Drake's Bay. I've heard of your disputes in uh, that worthless Kurtargo, a most contemptible excuse for a man. I'm sure we'd get along well as a friend. Uh, sure. We agree the dude's an ass. Like, the main city shall fall. And so... Shall he? Armies can rest. Usurp the three cities of Pentos. Am I not able to just make my own kingdom? I prefer to do that. Still low control in the prince's quarter. Do I need to reassign? Yeah, I need to reassign him there. Oh, is my son doing a tourney? Uh, oh, it'd be too late for me to go, apparently. It's too busy fighting a war. The problem with usurping it is I think it just doesn't give me. Am I not able to? First, I'm able to form my own title. Yes, I just need more prestige. That is fine. Let's do some prestige events then. But let's celebrate my victory with a grand tourney of my own. Unsuitable trains would be bad. We'll do it in the prince's quarter then, right next to him to celebrate. Hmm. Or I could do it. Or I could do a grand tour and do a prestige tour. Mm, prestige tour could actually be good. Oh no, I want to do a tax tour. I want to do a tax tour after I do the tourney. That's my plan. 
So we'll, we'll do it at dragons more, even if it's unsuitable terrain. Archery, recital. And I can't, we don't have chivalry, so I can only go for these. Oh no, I, okay, I can go for these as well. Dragons more. I'm gonna set everything to max. Make it an expensive and mighty tourney. It's gonna give us a lot of prestige, I'm hoping, but also just to be an actual celebration of a truly remarkable moment. Let's have a look over at the Black Firewall. Yeah, it, it's early victories for Aegon, but it looks like Eris Second is going to be winning this war. Which, I mean, makes sense. Did he arrive and then immediately die? That's actually impressive. Oh, I win every bet. I'm just simply too good to not win the bet. Didn't qualify for archery. That's fine. I'm 72 years old. No, I'm not going to marry Shayna to you. I could marry Shayna to... I'm just gonna... I'll keep her unmarried for a little bit, honestly. I'm fine with Shayna being unmarried. Well, not much I gain from being her off. I'm hoping once I get my own kingdom, I can have my own royal court and we can get some proper artifacts. At least you'd hope we can get some profit. God, stands collapsing, yeah. You gotta dive out, you're killing people. You're full. Best man won. Let's... Okay, we still have a claim on Pentos. So if I were to attack him without a truce, I think that I would now be able to take Pentos at least. I should also get a claim on that little island. Just so I have all of... South of Pentos, basically. Um, okay. Get our score up a bit. Or even if it's just getting the general score up. Move myself to route maybe actually see if I can get some captains from this. Have people witness the might of my realm and maybe consider joining. It's probably I'd probably gain more from that than I would from trying to win any of these. Fine. Get royal lodges there. Brother in law is calling me into a liberty war. Against. In Mir. Ugh. I'm not even going to really send anyone. So, no, he's in me, but the armies are actually up here. You should you should outnumber them. If he wasn't... I guess I'll send some troops then. Because for some reason they're just doing circles up there. Is that, isn't he, this is in a neighbouring kingdom to me now. That's about one. Let's head to the tourney grounds again. Oh, okay, he doesn't have more men. That's a lot of high-quality men, in fact. Once I take the plush approach, it'll be over. Oh, 
I just see he's just taking the sunrise road for no reason. Little dick move. Am I able at least now to change my laws then? Wonderful. This should help us out when these are enabled. Start of the month. We should see our finances increase. Raiders. In my capital. I'll make this happen. I don't need an update on every single little round. Game. It's too many updates. Yeah, that was one. Let's... Oh my god, I, can I have one second to myself, game? Please. Let us get... Oh, I can't do anything. Never mind. I can stop this murder scheme, though, because I don't need to kill him anymore. Although, killing him would be good, because it would end the truce. So maybe I do want to kill him. Why has he not pieced out that war? Do I have to piece it out? I can't. Piece out the war, bro. You got 100%. What is he doing? It's worrying how quickly they are taking out Drake's Bay, though. Begin a grand tour soon. Grand taxation tour will give us a lot of money. Once I get this army down, I should be able to raise a new kingdom as well. Okay, we should arrive before they steal our loot. Guy's blind. Literally a blind leading the blind. Hey, if it works, it works. Yeah, truce is... How long is the truce? Because I'm 74 years old and I'm starting to finally feel poor health. Yours is four years. Yeah, I'd very much like if you die to end that truce. I feel like that was a breach truce thing. That would be really helpful. Either way, we should be able to form our own kingdom now. It'd be better. No, okay, we need to keep on that. Never mind. Unless I could do this. Because this might give us more... Um. Anyway, let us... Now I need money for it. Ah. Everything's so expensive. If only it wasn't super easy for me to make money. Oh, really, like, it's just look at this beautiful model. So the Palace of Prosperity is specifically this bit of the wall, which is beautiful that they, you know, and then the, this bit of the wall over here is its own castle. Like, it is such a beautiful... I don't know why they're all city holdings. Hopefully I'll be able to convert one into a castle holding, because to me this looks like a castle. Of at least some kind. Why am I at seven? Did I re-inherit something? Um, I inherited Dorius. Oh, no, this is the city that was being built for me. That I had him pay for, Lamar, before I went to war with him. I don't need a... I couldn't control a city holding anyway, so... But once we make a kingdom title, I'll be able to start handing out duchies, and we can make things look a bit more organised. At least that's the hope. Because imagine he basically already has a duchy title, right? Yeah, he has all of this. That's one here, one here. One in the flatlands. House of Nine Eyes. I don't really see that as a useful alliance. I have court artifacts now. I better get me a court then, so I can just use the artifacts. 
Here we go. Let them see. Then first magister. Old court. My vassal approaches me disappointed like into this. How about we host a fair or something to expose um I literally don't have money. Porcupine shows me a page filled with unfamiliar symbols existing on its legibility. I have developed a written language specifically for the women of the court, since the letters are most likely uh, are mostly taught to men. Uh, I'm sure if it gets their opinion of me up. Uh, sounds good to me. Oh uh, well, no, and they escaped. Let's back. I really thought I'd we catch them. Whoops. Get wolf pelts up here. Can. And then get another dynasty banner up there. Wonderful. Look at that. We've got an actual kingdom. All to ourselves. Too many held duchies. Yeah, I knew this was going to be a problem. So. This one I feel is an obvious one to give to him. They're all called cities. That's so confusing me. I'm sp they should be called duchies in my mind. Uh, this this one basically already is a duchy, isn't it? Which one would it be? Is it the coast? Not the baked lands. Well, it's part of the flatlands. Actually, let me have a look. Maybe I don't own this duchy. Oh, it's the Pentos duchy. Ah. Uh, hmm. A duchy that owns all of this outside the city is actually fine. So if I grant him the city of Flatlands, then he basically just owns all of this north bit, which I'm fine with, honestly. I'll grant you... Uh, ooh. It's a problem because you're both sharing this duchy, aren't you? Well, that should be easy to give. It's giving you um, the bait lands. So, no, him. You know, maybe I give you the bait lands just so I can have these. And then you the coast. And hopefully that keeps them happy. <laughs> New petition in my court. Oh, I took it. That's not going to help my health. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's really not going to help the health. Master of Arms at Two Claws, cleverest of the Red The Voice of Sacred Fire is absolutely the one I'd want to go for. That's an awesome name. Now it's going to need a worthy successor. I actually have an extra duchy now, so I could get you back. have the windpipe back until I mean obviously eventually I want to own three duchies in here and then we'll have to redo everything. Oh, my first inspired person. He's merely decent. Fine. I mean I'll take some I'll take anything just to start with at least. Let's reassign you and reassign you. him because I don't know he didn't like me. Whoops. And, and look at this, we're getting so much all at once and now we have a dynasty legacy. So we already chose Noble Veins. There's so many to pick from now. House of Warriors just feels like it makes sense to go for. And then we start going into Heroes of Old and Pure Blooded. 
In my prowess sucks because of blind and old age, but I mean, my sons are decent. Okay, and uh, now my water is my uh, son's father. That's pretty cool. We we are putting ourselves in a pretty strong position, too. What shall I call the kingdom? This is why I ask you guys who are watched all the way to the this part, which is, you know, <laughs> close to the end now. What do I name the kingdom? Because Dragon's March is sort of the name of the this duchy, specifically as well. And obviously, eventually I want to, I will sort of give up the jugular to own this bit and Pentos, because those are, you know, I want to have the northern capital and the southern capital. But what do we call the kingdom itself? It definitely needs a, a name worthy of a kingdom. No doubt in that. In terms of strength, this is definitely the weakest duchy, and then these two are sort of equally strong. The flatlands not far behind them. Interesting. There, there is no chance this is my kid, surely. And there's no way I'm having a kid at age seventy-six. <laughs> surely not. Just knows his opinion of me. Not fully worth it. Somebody be that you want to duel me. If I could kill him, that'd be great. A bit more money to get it finished. And when we have this crown complete, we'll call it there. Still, Toshi, I need it to be Valyrian. But we, I mean, when we can get this to a higher level, that's when this can really be a southern capital. Because we can get it way past level 3, we can get it to like level 4, level 5, pretty, pretty quick. What I know is that this kingdom is not Pentos, because it's not going to hold Pentos for long. Ah, crap. Get a mace, please. Yeah, I do have a mace them. Let's get him on control plates. Can afford more uh, council positions now. One shield and another sworn shield. Court artificer. Headsman. Personal champion. I don't need one for now. Do a headsman though. Uh, get my son as an architect. No, don't have a good antiquarian, unfortunately. I'm not just going to pick anyone for that, either. Get my horse's ability up. And we want control up, so we'll get a good... Uh, Shana could be my show panel. At least you can help out with the control in the uh, princely quarter.
Yeah, well, we're 76 and we are still kicking. Though I really don't know how much longer for with, with this play going through. I need to consider isolating. We can sell some trivial titles. But I don't really see the reason for selling the prestige there. An excellent crown. Well, I'll need a name for this as well. If you have an idea for a name for an excellent crown, let me know. But that is where we shall finally call it for this episode. We have secured our freedom and our kingdom, our independence. And, oh, I was about to say, and with Eris winning, but actually, Eris died to a Sunderland in the trial by combat, so now Hagen rules the Iron the Throne. The Valyrians are doing quite well, no doubt. We've established our own kingdom within these three cities, and hopefully our kingdom might be um, an actual kingdom rather than these foolish cities and the sort. But, what to do, what to do. We need to take Pentos, and I'm hoping we can do it in our lifetime. Our son, no doubt, is probably upset that he's now 47 and still is not um, the, the ruler. It is unfortunate, but there's also not a lot he can do about it, because I intend on continuing to live. His grandson's 30, and... Uh, and great grandson is 12, so not going to be young for a while, that's for sure. Not going to have another long lifetime like this, I think. So enjoy it while you have it, no doubt. Thank you guys so much for all of the support on this series. I hope that this episode has been fun. Uh, I feel like maybe I've not been talking as much as I usually do, which is weird. Um, I'll probably watch it back and I'll be talking the normal amount, but for me, I felt like I wasn't talking a lot, so apologies if that was the case. Uh, if you have any ideas, any concepts, any suggestions, please leave them down in the comments below, because I love reading them. I love reading all of them. They are fantastic to read, <laughs> and they really motivate me to keep going. But yes, I shall see all of you guys in the next episode of House of Z Drink. Until then.